Hey guys, it's Josh. Uh, oh, I don't mean to pick it up. It's dangerous. Yeah, I don't want to be caught stealing from one of the richest houses in Westeros. But hey, how are you? Playing Game of Thrones again. Last episode was a lot about Ethan being lord and making important decisions. I chose my... Uh, dad's squire's uncle as my sentinel, which is sort of like the hand for a lord, my second in charge. And we decided that we were going to fight and meet Ramsay in the Great Hall, which I think changed my fighting decision to diplomacy. Didn't mean to, but we'll see how it goes. I'm sure fighting's going to be involved. Now I'm playing as Mira again, back in King's Landing, and we're probably going to hear whether or not Marjorie got the go-ahead from Joffrey to help my family. I doubt she did. We'll find out. I'm not taking any of Marjorie's stuff. I don't feel Marjorie? good about this. Oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you might want to know. Thank you. Thank you. I thought we were friends, Mira. When you dismissed me the other day, I won't say it didn't hurt my feelings. We've known each other for years, and yet to be treated like that. I'm sorry, Sarah. You shouldn't take it personally. Well, I did. I thought there was trust between us. Friends don't hold secrets from one another. Now Lady Marjorie thinks you don't trust me, and she values your opinion very much. Sarah, I... I do trust you, Sarah. I just wanted to make sure Marjorie was the first My to lady, hear. I'll leave you to talk. You can stay this time. Don't worry. Doesn't sound like good news, though. I'm not going to start the conversation. The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. Gods. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. What can I do to make this better, my lady? There's nothing you can do, Mira. I have Understand, a weird feeling. it was my mother's plan, not mine. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. I think Marjorie's faking this. I think she tore that herself and is blaming it on Joffrey so that she doesn't have to take responsibility. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. And not in King's me. Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. I think she knew it'd be too much of a risk to ask Joffrey's Soon help. Soon I will be queen, and maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. I must nope. send a raven. I have to warn my family, if you'll excuse me, my lady. Yeah, I think Marjorie's lying. She tore that herself and blaming it on Joffrey so that she doesn't have to take responsibility and Malaysia. do what I asked of her. And this guy's gonna tell me. Begging your pardon, my lady. I hope I didn't frighten you. This guy's gonna let me know. How I can tell. How long have you been waiting there? Not long. I was just passing by when I saw you emerge from Lady Marjorie's room. I hope you saw. I was right before. About Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know. I, I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. How can I trust you? There are spies everywhere in King's Landing. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. Hopefully mm -hmm. I've proven I could be useful to you. How? You told me that I'm they sorry. don't get along. I, That's obvious. I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... Maybe he won't tell me that Maybe Marjorie did it herself. you. Hmm. 
I think that person is undercover. He's given me a look two times now. Where's Sir Roiland? He should be here. The man values pride more than honor. We'll do without him. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men stand ready to act if needed. Our plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. White Hill and Ramsey. White Hill looks like a cartoon mile next to him. Timber. Not the place I'd want to be if there was a fire. Yeah, Ironwood is near impervious to flame, my lord. Is it? May I introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton? Son of Roos Bolton. Although a bastard, Lord Ramsay has the full authority of the Thank Warden you, of the... That's enough. Who is this little boy? Is he lost? May I offer you bread and salt, Lord Ramsay? I loathe bread and salt. Aren't you the little lord? Lord Whitehall told me you were young, but this... Look at you. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Ironwood. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about it. Your father will appreciate it, I hope. Our ironwood is highly sought after. My father is not so easily impressed. <laughs> but it's pretty impressive. Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn... Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. It's going Look well. Look at that. More Forrester. Lord Ramsay. Come out where I can see you. No, Ryan and my sister should not be in attendance. I don't want them here. We really must focus on the business at hand. What is it you want, Lord Ramsay? What do I want? Everything. Nothing. We'll see. First. The poet. Let's see you bend the knee to my father, Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. If he Words was here, maybe I would. Anyone can say they're loyal. I want you to show me. I only kneel to the king. Is not the Warden also deserving of your respect? But then, I am not my father. Exactly. Perhaps that is what you meant to say. That is see? what I meant to say. He's a fucking traitor, just like his father and brother. Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the King. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. You needn't worry. Your father will have what he needs. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. They murdered our men. It was a forester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One bolt. Yet your man lived. He was within his right. They killed his family. His right? He killed a loyal soldier in my father's army. Then you welcomed me into your hall like a proper lord, hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? But 
No. That they won't. is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. You can't do that. Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? Uh, yeah. How we to make it? Talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. It can't be that difficult. We have loyal craftsmen who make the finest weapons. The White Hills have no such craftsmen. Do you want ironwood for the next five years or the next fifty generations? The little lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your iron wood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men <gasps> within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. Ten men I'm okay with, and we'll pick them off like flies one by one. Twenty men. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. You have no right. White Hills have no place here, lads. Do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Duncan, don't. I don't want my siblings here. Look at this little forester. God. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? <coughs> are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Oh, twins. Well, like the Queen and her brother. Well, hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. We have more to discuss, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. No. You can be my highborn ward. Lord <gasps> Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? No. Let her go. She She's doesn't. quite pretty. Your sister. We get along well. <gasps> I was going to offer myself up, That's but then Asher mistake. would be in charge. Aren't you the bold lord? <laughs> oh, oh, no! What have you done? But I don't want a bold lord. <laughs> Far too much trouble. I knew you'd bend the knee eventually. I think we've come to an understanding. I certainly feel better about all this. What have you done? However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bar. Just put a maggot in it. Just put some maggots in it. Take the boy of your wall. No! Kill him if they give you any trouble. Brian! Asher is our only hope now. I'm Lovely glad he's on his way. Oh. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him! Catch the mace so quickly! You brought this on yourself. Mama! Please, stop! Don't let, let him go! Let it go! Stop that! Don't let it go! Stop it! Let me go! Do something! Ethan? Oh. My son. Fucking A. God, Ethan was my favorite character too. <sighs> this fucking game, you guys. It's been kind of slow up till now. I wasn't too worried about it. <laughs> Shit, man. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. 
Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? Okay, let me just recover from that bullshit I just had to put up with. Okay, so first off, you and 50.8% stayed with Bowen. A fat lot of good that did me. Roderick died, Lord Forrester died, I don't know if that would have changed if I would left Bowen behind, but Bowen didn't do shit to protect me, so he better come back at some point and help me with what I did. Um, and then also, regarding this, Garrod let the uh, that one Bolton or Whitehill guy go. He showed mercy. What did that get me? I was hoping he'd come forward at some point during that meeting in the chamber or the great hall and say, Hey, Dad, just so you know, or hey, Whitehall guy, hey, Ramsey, I was let go by Garrod. He's a good guy. Let's just leave some leave some shit for them. Let's not kill their fucking lord. Okay, me and 70.6% swore loyalty to the king. Yeah, but it was bullshit. Like, I think Cersei knew. You could look at his face. She can tell. I hope Marjorie knew it was bullshit, because Marjorie's the one who told me to do it. Me and 42.8% freed Eric. Yeah, I, I don't know if that'll bite me in the ass later. I was indecisive on that one. I was considering cutting off his fingers, but I didn't want to be... I don't know. I didn't want to be that kind of person. Ethan the Merciful. You and 61.7% picked Duncan as Sentinel. Yeah, I feel like I made the right decision there, even though that'll probably... I mean, if I hadn't picked him and I had picked Sir Royland, would Sir Royland have been there to protect me? Would he have been there to keep Ryan from being taken at least? Because he wasn't there at all, and I'm sure it was because he was embarrassed, but according to the preview, he comes back. So I don't know if he was hiding, or if he ran away but then changed his mind when he heard Ethan dies. I have no idea. We're going to find out. And then myself and 61.5% met Ramsey in the Great Hall. That's what I'm really interested in, is people who kept him locked out. I wonder what happened there. So I'm going to go watch some videos and probably see how that changed, but... uh Overall, great first episode. A lot of info dumping for the first bits, but then it became really exciting towards the end, as pissed off as I am. Ramsey doesn't really have a beard here, but he definitely had a beard when he was in my great hall, which is weird. But alright, next time, episode two, it's going to be probably really depressing, just like this one, <laughs> but uh... We'll find out. I hope you liked it, guys. Leave some comments in this video or any of the previous ones. Or leave some likes on them. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you made the same decisions. Let me know if you enjoyed the series overall. Enjoyed watching it on my channel if you've watched it before. Maybe you're watching mine after watching other people's so that you can see what the different decisions do. Because I'm probably fairly unique with my decisions. I don't know. But uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And when episode 2 comes out, I'll definitely be playing that on my channel. And I'll try to upload it all the first couple days that the game is out. I know this one took a while, but I needed to get a PC first. Then I needed to put it together, then I needed to download the game. And I was really busy. But as soon as episode 2 comes out, expect me to download it and play it the second it's available. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.